What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here with Sadistic Lollipop. Yo. Now, this woman that you see on your screen is named Su What's What was it? Susan? Susan Ball. Su yeah, Susan Ball. This is, yeah. This, uh, I'm going to say this. Why can't you be... Why can't stalkers be pretty? Why can't stalkers be beautiful? I Then I wouldn't have nothing to say about it, but this woman is ugly as shit, man. This is one ugly ass stalker, dude. <laughs> I was, I'm telling you, man, how can uh, I thought? Oh, I thought, I thought over time stalkers would have start getting fine as hell. They start getting ugly as shit every day. I'm telling you, man, she's like a fucked up, a fucked up Jedi. She like Jabba the Hutt's turds. Even Han Solo would fuck that. No, but this woman, they, this woman right here, she has been stalking my friend Sadistic Lollipop since 2006. Now, that's kind of fucked up. Six years of stalking. You probably want to say, why ain't, why ain't she called the police? Why ain't she doing anything? Well, you can't do nothing when it comes to I men. Tried. Yeah, she tried. I, I have threatened. sad though that this woman is knocking my friend for six years trying to be like her trying to act like her what was it you told me uh she got the same color glass same kind of glasses she tried to get identical, identical glasses um if my hair was dyed blonde or brown or like a sh shade of red she would um see pictures of it or whatever Obsession was slowly stopping because you know 
Nathan knew about it because I would email him and be like, "You need to fucking control your fucking bitch wife." Yeah. But she would keep on harassing me, and um, you know, in like I think the end of '08 or sometime in '09, we lost contact. Thank God, she left me alone. Um, this was after her and Nathan got divorced. Recently, because I looked on her Twitter for I blocked her, and we have no mutual followers or whatever. So, yeah, I'm the only way she could have found me was to Google my real actual name. So, now see, this is her, this is uh, Susan, uh, Susan Ball, Susan Smart, whatever her fucking name was, should be, is her. Twitter account trying to be like my friends because the picture will be like the picture I think is something like when one of my friends suggested will choose but said not the right colors more be like black and white red but this is her Twitter I'm going to show you her fucking Facebook now this is her Facebook now Mr. Cody Smart Corey Corey, whatever. Oh, get that. My ex boyfriend's name was Corey. Yeah. And, and it. Yeah. Yeah, and now, Mr. Corey Smart, I'm going to tell you this. Her, she, look, she used Susie Q Ball. Cherry. Cherry. I hope you understand. Oh, if you see this video, you need to understand something. That your old lady, this woman that you're about to marry, has been stalking a friend of mine. You can ask her, oh, have you been stalking this sadistic lollipop? She's going to tell you no. That's, that's, yeah, because, look, cause I hate to see this man go to getting some shit that he ain't. I hate to see this man getting some shit that he don't need to be in just because of her. I'm not. She'll probably run to her little alcoholic fat ass friends like she has before. Because, you know, we would fight through MySpace through messages. And she would like copy paste everything I said and then send it to them. And I get like these like nasty messages back from them. Yeah, I see. Like from, uh, oh, what was her name? I don't know. She was like the uh, mayor's like granddaughter, Kim, Kimberly. Uh, I don't remember the fuck her name. But yeah, she was like the big, ugly, nasty looking whore in Hurricane. But, uh,. She was like, I'm going to kick your ass if I ever see you. Like, bitch, bring it. I don't give a fuck. You know, Susan needs to fight her own battles. Yeah. She's afraid of me. She has told me she's afraid of me. And I, I don't give a fuck. If I, To this day, I'm keeping my word. I ever run into her, I will fucking fuck her up. Uh -huh. I don't give a fuck if I go to jail. I don't care. I'm going to beat the shit out of her. I ain't afraid. Bring it. It says that. It says I have enough drama right now, dealing with personal issues and a nasty divorce custody battle. I don't need some fucking almost thirty year old, uh, fucking um, Roseanne's daughter Darlene looking nasty alcoholic skank stalking hold on, me. Hold on. I got y'all got to check this out because it's kind of funny. Like this is this is. History by last year. In 2008, it says she moved to Jacksonville, North Carolina. That means she's right next to me. I don't live in South Carolina, but I'm living in I live in Tennessee, and she's in North Carolina. Bitch, I no, she's not in North Carolina no more. Well, it's, she's she's in Indiana. Nathan was stationed in North Carolina since he got out of the yeah. camp. Okay, but if she was still in North Carolina, I would have just told her, but. Corey's like I'm for real though. You need to stop pulling your friends in this fight, man. Even though you're starting it, because I ain't fight. not not you, but this Susan, whoever, Susan Smart, Susan Bow, whoever she wants to be, because Susan McUgly. Yeah, Susan McDick and the booty ass. Because you're doing this just to make you you you're pulling all these people in that don't know the situation. You're getting them all pissed off and mad because all you they know. Is what she told him. Yeah. They I don't, don't give a fuck. Like, they really don't know the situation, the whole truth. Like, like,
like uh, she knows. Uh, oh, I think they knew that Nathan was cheating on me last month or yeah. two for marriage. I don't give a fuck, you know. I I don't like, talk to Nathan. Last time I talked to him was our divorce. Like, and like, I don't give a fuck. Like, like, like they say, man, there's two sides of every story. No, it's like this. There's, it's like this. Doesn't matter how flat you make a pancake. There's two sides of it. Now, if if she's gonna tell her side of the story to her friends and her family and her fiance without asking the person asking sadistic lollipop her side of the story, then something's definitely wrong because you cannot sit there and judge a situation because you heard one side of the story. You better hear the second one. And uh. And this is kind of funny because I remember my friend Sadistic have a picture of a Frankenstein. What was it? A Frankenstein Frankenstein cartoon picture, zombie girl. Yeah. It's awfully funny because she's got it up as one of her pictures. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, yeah. Because like you know, I was nice to her in the beginning before her and Nathan did her their little thing on the back. Um, she was like, not only would she take my personal pictures, like, of me, and save them, but she would, like, steal, like, pictures like the Frankenstein thing from my page, too. That's why I kept my profiles private. And to this day, that's the only reason why I keep my profiles private, because my soon-to-be ex-husband, Dennis, um, would always complain, why do you never add me on Facebook? Why can't I never find you on Facebook? And I'd be like, dude, don't you remember because of my stalker? And he'd be like, oh, that's right. Which was the truth because I'm telling you. Uh, yeah. now, now it's funny that I'm on her profile about to show all her photos. Look, yeah, look, look at her. Look at the ugly bitch. Oh, look at her. I'm on your profile. Look at her. <laughs> like this picture, I'm really telling you, I feel sorry for Cody. Corey Smith. Look, dude. Smart. Smart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I messed up your name. I apologize. But I feel sorry for you, dude. Like, I don't mean trying to. Oh, there's there's pictures of my ex-husband there too. Now, like, not to not to be mean to you, Corey, or put you down, but I, I feel sorry for you because your soon-to-be wife is doing this, and you don't even know it because she's not gonna tell you. And now, since the story is coming out, she's gonna lie about it. And she's gonna call her little friends and tell a bunch of bullshit trying to make me and sadistic look bad now if I was you no no it's no it's no hold on it's like you yeah, Corey before you start even getting not I'm saying before you even start getting mad about this situation you need to hear the truth because she's not gonna tell you nothing because she's gonna lie to you now your face oh no I'm not stuck in some girl named sadistic lollipop but if I said her real name it would have been different. Oh, no, I'm not stalking her. She'd still be denying it. Now, this girl has been stalking Sadistic Lollipop for six damn years, and she married her. She married Sadistic ex-husband. Now, that's kind of strange that she married Sadistic's ex-husband and got the same, started comping her lifestyle and everything, except she didn't, can't have no kids and she's not going to have sex. And you don't know nothing about it. If you ask her friends about this situation, they're going to lie about it. First thing they're going to do is, uh, these Afro Joe guys, he need to get his ass kicked. Now, okay, okay, you want to kick my ass because the truth's been told that you go around telling bullshit lies, that you up there stalking somebody over the internet. Oh, your life is so fucked up that you got to stalk somebody, that you want to be somebody else. Why do you want to be somebody else? What has this person ever done to you to make you stalk them to a point? This woman's got a child. It's going to get to a point where Susan or Susie Q, Bond, Smith, whatever she want to call herself, it's going to get to a point where she puts that kid in danger because she's so obsessed with sadistic lollipop. Now, Corey Smith, Corey Smart, I'm so, like, I'm still sorry about fucking up your name. Corey Smart, I'm, to me, you need to figure out what's going on her her because one thing is she's not going to tell the truth unless you, you sit down with sadistic lollipop and I start talking to her to see what's up because she's never going to tell the truth she's never going to say oh I love to stop sadistic lollipop because she's the best sesame 
specimen to stop because she got a baby and I want the baby. She's like, what's that movie called? Misery? She like that, man. That's fucked up. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man, this girl got a problem. Snonking is fucking wrong. You can sit there and say, well, why don't you go to the police? You you can go to the police and they ain't going to do nothing but tell you, well, we got to... I got tried. You know, see? The police ain't going to do nothing to say, well, she's got to have phys done physical harm to you. Also, be like, oh, so, okay. She's too afraid of me to do this for her. So, yeah. Because one thing is she probably going to start trying to talk shit to me on my face. We're like, look, bitch, you can talk all the shit you want. At least my ass is getting paid for it. At least I'm getting paid for these videos I'm doing on YouTube. I don't know about you, bitch, so you can sit there and send this video to all your friends. All I'm going to be doing is making that paper off you. That's one thing. You can sit there and tell your friend, Yeah, you got here, watch these video. I'm oh, getting... yeah, yeah. Speaking of paper, she used to, like, in, like the, when she would fight, fight with me, she was like, Well, at least I have a job and I don't meet off my parents or my husband. Guess what, bitch? I have a job now. And I never reached off to anybody. So, fuck you. Yeah. So, you really can't say shit now, man. So, this the got a job, and I'm gonna be making papers off your dumb ass on YouTube. Uh-huh. That is a bitch. Mm-hmm. That's something else, man. That'd be a good thing. I never thought I was... I, I, I ain't not know I was a pimp. I did not know I was a pimp because I'm about to make money off this dumb asshole. She is too ugly and too dumb to be a hoe. Well, that She's a waterhead... Retard. I bet. I bet she got dropped on her head as a kid. Probably. I bet somebody. I bet somebody drunk her Kool Aid and pissed in the Cheerios and called her ugly. So that she'll never have titties and she nobody want to fuck her and marry her because she's too damn ugly to fuck. I bet when I bet when Nathan was fucking her, I bet he put a paper bag over her head just to cover up the ugliness. <laughs> We're doing from behind, so you have to look at her. Yeah. I closed his eyes while he was doing it. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that is good. And he peed. Oh, that's ugly. Oh, that's good. Don't mess me up. I'm saying I couldn't hit that man. I'd be throwing up on her. Okay, oh, 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 all over it. Yeah, uh, uh, this woman's creepy. She's like a reject for the Adam family. Or Roseanne. Or Roseanne, look like a fake ass darling. Yeah. Fake ass Darlene reject. <laughs> That's how it is. A fake ass Darlene reject. And this is gonna be fun. Uh, I'm gonna post this. Now one thing is, I'm gonna post this up everywhere. So it doesn't matter if you flag this video on YouTube because this video is gonna be everywhere. People's gonna watch it. People's gonna like it. Because one thing is, you can look if you're gonna look. There's every action. There is a reaction. Whatever the the action that you choose, the con you chose the consequence. So you chose the snunk sadistic lollipop, and the consequence is that you getting your ass posted up on YouTube, and you're gonna be making me money. Cause one thing is, I don't, like I said, I feel sorry for Corey Smith because he don't know what's smart. Oh, okay, thank you. I keep messing his name, but I don't know why I want to call him Smith. I don't know. He looks like a smith, just to be honest. Just telling the truth, not to be mean. He looks like a smith. Corey Smart. Like I feel bad for the brother because he don't know what's really going on. It makes you feel. It makes you feel bad that people like this Susie bitch does shit like this and all other shit, but doesn't tell her spouse or her boyfriend or fiance what she. Uh, her boyfriend, whoever that the person is to her, that what she does in a in a uh, as a hobby. Because one thing is, he's gonna find out when the police breaks in and arrest her for one one day because she took a little bit too far. And he's gonna be mad about this situation. See, we just putting it out there so you can understand, Corey Smart. 
because we don't want what they get. I don't want you to get hurt, man. I really don't. I don't really don't want you to sit there and get hurt because of stupidity. And you say, well, well, if you wanted to, don't want me to get hurt. Why'd you do the video? Because he a dumb bitch and I had to do it. Cause dumb dumbs, cause dumb asses uh, like her love the, the attention. And uh, you have anything else to say, sadistic? Not really, only Susan Ball Sack, loser bitch, leave me the fuck alone. <clears throat> I have not bothered you, I have not talked about you, I have not harassed you or stalked you or anything. Leave me the fuck alone for the ten millionth, hundredth, zillionth time. Fuck off. Thank you. Yeah, and you can kiss my ass burning hell. You know what? And she dying today, man. You know what I would do? I would, I would shed a fucking tear. No, you know, if she died today, I'd go to her funeral and shit in her coffin and piss on her grave. That's one thing I'd do because she don't deserve the satisfaction of somebody shedding a fucking tear over her if she's going to stalk people. See what I'm saying? So, but, uh, I can say she's nothing but a dick in the booty ass. And one thing is, why can't why stop somebody that's in another state? A th I'm not even a famous person. Yeah. Either. I'm not even famous. Well, people know my name, but I ain't that damn famous. I ain't no Brad Pitt. You're or, not even famous, dude. Yeah, I'm not even famous, but people know my name. I'm not even famous, but people know who my name because they're my videos, but we're, I'm not we're famous. We're not on TV, we're not not even movies. Being yeah, that's the funny thing is, why would you stalk somebody if they're not even famous? I can understand stalking Katy Perry because she got a fine ass body, or Angelia Jolie, Brad Pitt, Eminem, 50 Cent, uh, J Lo, more like J Ho, but uh, uh, President Obama, uh, Joe Biden, Michelle Obama, somebody famous. I can understand them because they're famous people. But when it comes down to common folks, man, I don't see where that fits into as being celebrities. Like, what, what's so important about a common person walking down the street? Nothing. They're minding their own business. Same as sadistic. She's trying to raise her kid, work, and mind her own damn business. So how is how is this supposed to... Uh, why, why stalk her if you don't... Why stalk her? It makes no sense. See, that's why they made it Truman Law, Tracy Truman Law, because if it wasn't for, because the incident that happened to her where her ex-husband stabbed her, cut her, and stomped on her, well, kicked, kicked and stomped on her head, they would never would have made that, made that law. See, every state needs to push that law, that Tracy Truman Law, where if the police don't do nothing because they, because the person gets stalked, then they need to lose their job. And if somebody's getting stung, they need to arrest them, put a damn ankle bracelet, or take their damn computer away from them, and won't, and and just take their computer away. Don't allow her to get around her computer, because one thing is, if she does, beep beep beep, the little thing goes on, she gets arrested and go to jail. Whatever, do something to keep her away from stalking people, because it makes no sense that this woman continues to stalk one person. Because she was so obsessed of her. I ain't never in my life seen somebody like this woman stunk so fucking hard and trying to be trying to be like sadistic. It's fucking unhealthy. She really, I mean, she obviously does have no problems, but it's, like, it's getting old. You know, I have my own life. I don't bother nobody, and she's all about what stay yeah, in the past and wanting to stay obsessed with me and it's like bitch leave me the fuck alone I don't want to be your friend I have no desire to ever be your friend you're yeah. fucking psychotic and you're just fucking retarded yeah cause one thing is <laughs> cause I can tell y'all this though <sighs> I like I never like I never had a stalker in my life I never I don't like stalkers, but when I heard this story, man, I really, I really got pissed off about it. 
because one thing is you got a man you got a man that loves you for who you are a man and but you want to know somebody else that's got a job and got a kid that's single why would you do that and you got a man that's kind of giving a one up on him because oh yeah I forgot to mention she tried to pretend to be bisexual because I was bisexual too see how funny is that it's funny how you can sit there and try to be something she used to she used to make fun of me and make drug to comments about me being bisexual Hey, bitch, how you gonna be sitting there trying to pretend to be bisexual, but you make jokes about sexuals? You know what, man? This is, oh, I'm there for her to try that shit in New York. I'm for real, though. I'm there for this bitch to try that shit in New York. Trying to make poke fun of bisexuals or gays in New York, knowing that gays can get married in New York City. I just want her to yeah man I'm telling you like I said man if y'all go on Twitter tweet to her Su what was it uh, Susan Smart uh, and her tweet name is bitter underscore beauty 84 and just tell her to stop if you go on Facebook you might see the little name Susie Q Smart just tell her to stop do whatever you gotta do just tell her it's like bitch fucking stop Fucking stop. Nobody don't want to fuck your nasty ass. I don't see how the hell she got this dude loving on her. I'm afraid not to talk down to Corey Smart. I don't see how in the hell she got this man to love her. Just to be honest. Not to dog the brother out. Not to talk down about this brother. Nothing. But why would you want to date somebody that loves to stalk people? Come on. Because he probably doesn't know. Yeah, if he doesn't know, he knows now. And if he continue, like, once one thing is, you got two option brothers. You either stay with her and be an accessory or leave her and be an innocent bystander. As long as you stay with her, you're going to be accessory to whatever she's doing. You're right. Ain't no How you know? Because mostly stalkers lead to murders. Now, what was it? Paul Abdul had a stalker. And she, she came on, Ameri uh, what was it, America Got Talent, not American, American Idol. She came on just to see Paul Abdul, and she loved Paul Abdul. What happened? She didn't get on the show, but what happened after the show? The what girl went over to Paul Abdul's house and committed suicide right on her fucking lawn. Tell me, and she was stalking Paul Abdul, tell me something I don't know. Stalkers have committed suicide in front of the, the person they stalking, killed the person they stalking, whatever. And that's how it's, that's how it is. So the brother can be, if it goes that far in stalking with her, he can be an accessory to that. <coughs> See what I'm saying? And all her little friends too. Like I'm there, I'm I'm there waiting for her friends to find out this video, so she can ship her. Look, bitch, go and ship this video around to everybody you know, because I would love to make more money off of you. You my hope. You my bitch. You my hoe. You making me money. Get back. Get your ass back on that street corner. Make me my money. Yo, you can flag this shit all you want, cause I I can post it up on anywhere I want. So you can it gonna be all over the internet anyway. So bitch, look, you can flag it down. You can take it down, but it's still gonna be out there. And this has been Afro Joe ten like a T I motherfucking is. And this is my homegirl sadistic. Peace. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie and subscribe to my channel. That look up in the left hand corner it says CLO Junior 2 or CLO Junior 3 and right next to it says say subscribe, subscribe to my channels. Peace, love, and Afro Grease. And Susan Ball or Dick in the booty ass, grow the fuck up and kill you. Look, no way, I ain't gonna say kill yourself. That'd be the wrong thing to say. Like, Check yourself in a mental hospital. That's what you need to do. Grow up and check yourself in a mental hospital. And holler at a therapist. Peace.